courtesy of Bujian International Fantastic Film Festival, The Underdog, the Bujian International Fantastic Film Festival, by Fan, will open its 22nd edition with South Korean animated feature The Underdog in close with Indian drama, Secret Superstar, organizers announced Thursday in Seoul. Asia's largest genre event will present 290 films from 53 countries from July 12 to 22 in Seoul's satellite city of Bujian. Opener The Underdog is a new title by the creators of Leafy, A Hen Into the Wild, a landmark animated feature that broke domestic records for the genre at the 2011 South Korean box office $13.7 million. The Underdog has high artistic merit, appeals to a wide range of audiences with its upbeat yet moving storyline and makes its world premiere at Bifan. It was an easy decision to choose it, said festival director Choi Young Bae. The film follows a group of stray dogs that meets a gang of wild dogs, and their struggles to travel to Utopia, the place. The lead characters are voiced by a popular set of actors including Du Kyung Soo, a member of the K-pop band EXO who has won critical acclaim for his roles in local films such as 2014 Toronto Film Festival title cart. The film took six years to make, which was a year less than Lee Fee, said Oh Sung Yun, who co-directed the film with Lee Chun Baek. He added that the long production process is due to the lack of major animation studios in the country equivalent to Pixar or Japan's Studio Ghibli. My dream is to be able to create one feature every two to three years, and I hope that the underdog's exposure as opening film for Bifan will help its box office performance this summer against some big-time competitors. This year's edition will also spotlight the horror genre, reflected by how Bifan's official trailer and poster pay homage to Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street. The 1984 film will be featured alongside other titles by Craven and those by two other late American genre icons, George A. Romero and Toby Hooper, in a special program. The focus on horror reflects Bifan's determination to restore its identity as a genre film event, said programmer Kim bong -Syuk. This year's South Korean box office has also seen the revival of domestic horror flicks, most notably with the success of Young Bum Shik's Gonam, Haunted Asylum, $20 million. Epitaph, the 2007 horror melodrama directed by Young, will be shown. Festival goers will also be able to notice a strong representation of women filmmakers and on-screen personas. Bucci and Choice, the main competition section, for emerging genre filmmakers, features an unusually high number of female talent, said Bifan's head programmer Ellen Y.D. Kim. I wouldn't say this is the result of the. It is true that many of these films were by rising young directors so we decided to include them in the competition, because we believed it would be meaningful to show the unique visions of women. Genre films are after all the voice of the minority that make a gesture toward diversity in cinema, Lee added. Last year's edition featured a section on female villains and monsters, and this summer we'll see a showcase of how women are represented in sci-fi films such as The Stepford Wives, the original 1975 film, not the 2004 remake starring Nicole Kidman. Industry insiders will be able to partake in a diverse range of programs in the big industry gather, big, from panels on new media like virtual reality, VR, formats and programs for discussing South Korea-China co-productions, webtoons, online comic strips that have become a major source for film and TV ad patients, and inter-Korean interactions through films. The 11th Network of Asian Fantastic Films, NAF, launched in 2008 for the purpose of promoting genre film production and development in the region, will be held July 14-18. to 18.